A moment of peace, soon to be disturbed. A threat approaches, its hunger uncurred. It rakes up its lunch, chows down without grace. But inside this nest, for thieves there's no place. It needs to escape, or get egg on its face. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, dugs and dugets, monsanas, monsanis, we are back. And today we're going to be fighting the Kuliyaku, but first I have to get this out. Sandy Plains, ladies and gents, Sandy freaking Plains. This is probably my number one favorite location in all of Monster Hunter, and it's back. My god, it is beautiful. I'm literally flexing on you guys right now with that, my great wire bug. I am literally flexing. I, oh my gosh, it's just it's so beautiful. I love this place. I absolutely love this location. It's fantastic. You guys understand, this is my number one favorite location. Made its entrance in Monster Hunter Tri, and the fact that it's back today is just... Huh. Okay, so anyway, yeah, now that's out of the way, all the little fanboying and whatnot... Fulu, Fulu Kaku, blah. Kulu Yaku. Okay. Kulu Yaku was a monster, a bird weapon that actually made his introduction to Monster Hunter World. Uh, the game that we just played, like the game literally before this one, is when it's got its introduction. So there's really not a whole lot that I have to say that I feel like I should say, but I will say it anyway because every video is someone's first video and every game is someone's first game. Remember that. Got to be conscious out there for the people. So, nevertheless, Kuliaku is a bird weapon. Realistically, the fact that it's actually in a higher tiering than that of maybe the Great Baggy and the Great Azuchi is kind of odd because I figured it'd be a monster that fit right in its place. And if anyone's just looking at the monster himself, you think, okay, he should fit right there. He's just a bird weapon. He doesn't have any incredibly notable traits about him. The one thing that is to note of him, though, is that he has the ability to gather himself up a rock from underground. Now, that's his big claim to fame. That's his big niche, if you will. Um, if you saw in the cutscene how he was trying to eat an egg, if you ever are fighting the Kuliaku and he takes off somewhere and he's going to go run and try and, like, restore his stamina and whatnot, he's going to go use the egg to do that. Don't let him do that. But the rock, okay, let's talk about the rock because it is the thing. Like, it's the only thing you really need to talk about when it comes to fighting Kuliaku. The rock is his actual best means of doing any real amount of damage. It is his actual damage dealing attack. Um, how do you get rid of the rock? You break the rock. You make him drop the rock. How do you do this? A multitude of ways. You can honestly not, you can hit the rock, but you're going to bounce. So I wouldn't recommend just hitting the rock in or directly and forcing him to drop it. I would try to stagger him by hitting him in the head. Now it's going to be kind of hard to do so. Your spacing is going to be off a little bit, or not off, but it has to be just perfect to get it 100% correct. But it's something you really have to actually do. It hit him in the head, because it is his weak spot. Hit him in the head, or you can try to hit him in the body if you don't want to deal with any of that. But the thing is, you really want him to drop that rock. So let's say you have something like a gun lance. A gun lance is perfect. If you have a gun lance, do a full burst. He almost always drop the rock, drops the rock with the full burst. If you're a gunner, just shoot him. If you're, if you have anything explosive, anything that actually goes through Mind's Eye, so um, Long Sword Spirit Slash, Dual Blades Demon Mode, Switch Axe Sword Mode, um, Explosions, so like the Charge Blade, uh, Super Burst, Ultra Burst, A AOE Attack thing, you know what I'm talking about. And then also the, the, the Gun Lances, Weapon Fire, and so on. It breaks the rock every single time. And then after that, all you're really worrying about is small swiping attacks. He isn't super crazy, so again, the rock's the only thing you really need to worry about. When he has rock in hand, he has a couple attacks. More notably, he has the attack where he can just, well, not even attacks, more of an ability, where he blocks all incoming attacks from the front with the rock. He himself doesn't take damage, but there's a chance for him to break or drop the rock. A lot of times, you'll be trying to attack the rock, and he's guarding you, and then you're staggered because you, or you deflect... You are being deflected, and he will combo off of you being deflected. So watch out for it. Don't do it 100% of the time. That is, hit the rock directly. Go from the side. Go for the knockdown. Break the head. And honestly, when it comes down to fighting him, that's all you really, truly, and earnestly need to know. It's not super difficult, but let's take a look at the gear, because it's actually kind of good. All right, so the Kuliaku weapons are actually good. The gear is... It's actually good. I'm surprised, honestly. It's really good. So for our hunting horn users out there, yes, I'm talking to you guys, directly to you guys. This is your armor. The last armor was for the gunners. This one's for you. We're looking at Maximum Might 1, Horn Maestro, Slugger, Stamina Thief, Stun Resistance, and Crit Eye. So let's take a quick gander at these skills. So Maximum Might is 
your infinity will be increased if your stamina is kept at full for a set period of time. So what does this mean? Now, if you not if you're not using in stamina, any stamina at all, like your stamina is at 100, like you're not dashing, you're not blocking, standing still, leaving, or just walking normally, your infinity will be increased for a little bit of time. It's actually kind of cool. I don't know exactly how it works in this game, but in World it was kind of dumb. It just didn't work that well. But essentially, for the most part, that's what it is. If you're standing still, you get an infinity increase. That's that's actually solid. I mean, it's not great, but it's solid. It's a lot more situational than an infinity slider because we're gonna be running and sprinting and doing a stamina depleting things all the time. So it can be good, but for the most part, it's not that great. It's something that I would actually recommend being used more for like gunners because they don't, they're not using their stamina. They're shooting, they're walking and shooting. They're not sprinting and shooting. They can't sprint and shoot anyway. Nevertheless, moving over. This is why I say actually hunting horn set. Horn Maestro increases overall performance speed and shockwave damage. That is exclusively for the hunting horn. This skill all by itself is all you really need as a hunting horn user. There's other things, but we're going to talk about that real briefly. Slugger it makes it easier to stun monsters. Impact weapons. Weapons that use di dynamic, that, that primarily use impact damage. Hammers, hunting horns are going to benefit from this. There's other weapons that use impact damage. Great sword, sword and shield, lance gun lance even in certain cases but they're not like impact like all the time hunting horn and hammer are impact all the time so it'll make it easy for you to knock out monsters this is perfect stamina thief impact weapons gain a lot more from this than other things because uh it's the impact weapon the impact damage that actually exhausts monsters making them salivate at the mouth and just stand there looking all silly so this makes it easier for that to actually happen so for a hunting horn user Horn Maestro, Slugger, and Stamina Thief. That's, that's good. Everything else is just filler. Speaking of filler, Stun Res. This is actually a pretty decent skill. Stun Res 1 is fantastic by itself because whenever you're stunned, if you're not pressing buttons or wiggling the stakes, you're going to be stunned for a long period of time, and monsters will capitalize on you being stunned. So having the duration of your stun being reduced by 60, that's great. So it, that's, that's really good. And also Crit Eye, Increased Affinity, that's always nice, and so on. Now his weapons... If you guys remember, I can't show you the weapons. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I can't show you the weapons yet. It would just be really weird. And you, it'd spoil things for you guys because I'm actually a little further than where we need to be. In a couple of videos, I'll get to the point where I can actually do this for you so that way we're not, like, weird. But for his weapons, if you remember the Great Azuchi weapons, it's that. They're literally Great Azuchi weapons. The thing is, Great Azuchi weapons have, depending on where you are... I think Great Azuchi Weapons has just a little bit more green sharpness, just a little bit more green sharpness than what the Kuliyoku has to, has to offer. They have the same attack, they have the same plus 15 to affinity, or 10 or whatever it is to affinity. Just the Great Azuchi has to just a little bit more attack, that's essentially all it really is. So for this part, it's really what you really prefer, either looks or use, usability with more sharpness, or just like where the Kuliyoku stuff looks. That's honestly it. The gear, I'd recommend it though. Alright, let's wrap this bad boy up. So, Kuliaku isn't super hard, not hard at all. It's actually a, almost a joke if you really want to talk about it, but his gear is worth it. He's essentially elementally weak. Like, you can use Ellie, Ellie, any element to do a great amount of damage to him, but he has a bigger weakness to that of water than anything else. And wouldn't you know, we just made water weapons. Hopefully, you guys are paying attention. We just made water weapons. So, now that we have water weapons, use those. Kill a Kuliaku. If you want the gear, run it especially if you're like a hunting horn user i would totally go after it like i can't recommend this more for hunting horn users if for the most part it might be a, a set that you may just want to upgrade until something better comes out like all together but as it stands right now that's honestly all kulioku has to offer watch out for the rock he will dig for it make him drop that rock by hitting him or the rock and stunning him to stop him from actually doing rock hailed rock held shenanigans it's getting tougher to talk the more i do these videos because i'm doing so many today and my voice is already getting kind of tired and we're almost only halfway there nevertheless it's been your boy dak 908 aka the dig dug himself there's not much else to really say about kuliaku i did mention his weaknesses and just make sure he can do a whole lot of weird stuff with the rock don't get hit by the rock it hits hard um you fought tougher monsters by now i'm not even kidding like in order for you to even come in contact with Kuliaku, there's literally other monsters up into him that's actually harder than this guy. But if you're fighting Kuliaku for the first time, it's your only time ever fighting a monster ever, um, watch what he does and keep him in your eyesight. Watch what he does and don't let him get away from your sight because he, he's weird, but he's not tough. 
you should be okay. It's not that big of a challenge. It's been your boy, Dak908. Take care. Oh, we got a shield. Okay, you know, but before you go, the Discord, hang with your boy, hang with my people, hang out and be one of us. That Discord link will be in the description. Feel free to join in. But if Discord is in your bag, Twitter, I got one. I use it every single day, all the time, 24-7. I'm on it. I'm on it now, actually. I'm actually on it. So you can follow me on Twitter if you want to. So that way you stay up to date on all my tweets, all my streams, all my videos, and everything in between. Because, you know, it's kind of cool to be up to speed with what I actually have to offer. So that way you're always in the know, unlike a lot of other people. And plus, I'm probably going to give you guys some secret Twitter-only stuff. Because I kind of do that sometimes from time to time. Like special videos or things or whatever <laughs> whatever it's been your boy links in the description with that being said everyone may the desire sense of forever be in your favor